there's a paradox here. The prophets are sent to guide their nation. Yet here, no one less than I was asking them for further misguidance of the sinners. How do we explain that? Well, the fact is, Nuh al-Islam tried to call his people towards worship of Allah for hundreds of years, but they did not listen. Finally, Allah revealed in Surah Hud that they will not accept guidance. And it was revealed to Nuh that no one will believe from your people except those who have already believed. So do not be distressed by what they have been doing. So Nuh al-Islam, once he learned about this, about the confirmation that no one else will accept Islam, he made this dua for their final destiny to take over and finish them sooner. Now as a da'i or call it to religion today, we cannot make the same dua for our Muslim brothers, regardless of how much we have tried already to persuade them against their open sins, because we do not know for certain how their end has been written by Allah SWT. Instead, we should always remain optimistic for them to repent and divert. Narrated by Abdullah bin Masood, in Bukhari, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَإِنَّ so one of you may do good deeds that are characteristics of the people of paradise so much that there is nothing except a cubit between him and paradise. But then what has been written for him decides his behavior and he starts doing evil deeds, characteristics of the people of hellfire, and ultimately enters the hellfire. And one of you may do evil deeds, characteristics of the people of hell, so much so that there is nothing except a cubit between him and hellfire. Then what has been written for him decides his behavior and he starts doing good deeds, characteristics of the people of paradise, and ultimately enters paradise. So we do not know how someone will end their life in this world. And just for clarity, what does the word cubit mean? It comes from the Latin noun cubitum, meaning elbow. And it has many definitions, but a common or a natural cubit is considered the distance between the tip of your middle finger to the bottom of your elbow, so about 18 inches. So someone could be as close to going into hellfire, but Allah has written paradise for him, and he will change his action, so he will enter paradise and someone could be doing the good deeds entire his life, but towards the end of it, he has been written as someone from the hellfire. His actions will change and he will enter the hellfire. May Allah protect us.